Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to tell you what are the test cases we should write for Amazon registration page. So I am going to tell you what are the test cases you may get if you would like to write a test cases for Amazon site. So for that, what is the first case would be is open the browser. The first case would be open the browser. The browser could be anything. You can open IE, you can open Firefox, you can open Chrome, right? You can open any browser, put it in the bracket. Uh, these are the browsers, we'll have to test it, right? Then the next step is once the browser is open, then you should enter Amazon.in. That is the next step where you should enter Amazon.in. When you enter Amazon.in, then you should get this page. So whatever you are seeing, right? So this page you should get. If you are not getting this page, that means Amazon.in is not working and you have to mark that test case as failed. Now, so there should also be a sign-in page should be there. Sign-in page should be there because in order to register, either you should have a sign-in or register. Here we have sign-in, then just click on that, right? When you click on this, so we have a, a login functionality is there. If you have, if you know already email ID or phone number already you have registered, then you can directly give that and you can click on login. That is a test case we should write, right? If the if you already having a Amazon account, then you can directly enter and you can continue. This you will be doing, we will do it once you create a Amazon account. Now our main goal in this video is, so you will be creating an Amazon account or a registration, you will be creating an Amazon account using the registration page. Now click on your Amazon account. Now, so we have username. So username, so there are certain requirements they clearly define what kind of name you can give, what are the things you can not give, all those details, it will be there in your requirement document. So you should follow as per the guidelines for your name field for your name then also this is a text field you should also ensure that uh, you should not be disabled or you should be editable field all those test cases you should write for your name field the next one is mobile number should be 10 digit uh, number so basically you should enter 10 digit number especially in india we have only 10 digit number right or if it's choosing any other country, if you are choosing any other country, so you should uh, select the numbers and also you should have validation appropriately. Here you cannot have a characters, right? You cannot have characters in this field. That is also validation you should make, right? The next step would be once you have a validation for your name, then your mobile number, then you should go for email. So email, uh, you, you know, right? So you should have e email name, then at the rate of valid name, valid uh, email account. So you can say Gmail or any other email account which you can give here. So basically for this uh, registration, they made it as a optional. Then even in this case, even if without entering this also, you should be able to create an Amazon account. The next thing here is the password. So password field here is at least six characters they are calling out. So six character, whether characters means a number or a normal character, all those things we should have. So basically you can minimum, let's say if you're trying to create with five digit, then you should throw an error message, you have to say, at least minimum six characters should be there as part of your test cases. Even here also for your name field, let's say if you are without entering anything, if you're trying to click on continue, then you should also give an error message. This also test cases you should add. And also without entering any valid mobile number, you just say 
you just enter some uh, characters here then you should also give an error validation saying that you should enter a valid number okay now let's say i have given so valid number this is a valid number this is a valid name number right now let's say username is test and password is with the six digit password now click on continue now when you click on continue see a red so this number is already registered now you cannot use this number that means if it is already registered means you already registered here right now because you are not registered we are just given a some dummy number then this is the right error messages which it is giving because this number is already taken by somebody else so that is all about the registration so once the registration is done let's say once you are given all the information effectively like right, username is papa your uh, mobile number is papa then it will tell you it will send you a uh, message using that message you should log in let's say i am going to click on sign in now i will be entering whatever the registered number let's say i am going to enter with 999 please enter the so that means i should also give 91 okay now the password also it is asking so because this is not registered by us we don't know what is a password now this is where the overall process of uh, creating an uh, uh, user registration plus uh, you also got an idea what are the things you should validate so next thing i'm going to talk about uh, let's say how will you ensure that uh, the forgot password uh, things is going to work let's say click on forgot password now in the forgot password there are only two things you should validate either email or a mobile number let's say this field we call to give email or a phone number if something uh, if i'm going to give special characters right let's say i'm going to give like this now what you should say you should say because it's not a valid email id or a valid phone number let's click on continue let's see what it is shows now what it is saying is we are sorry we are not able to identify your given information because whatever i have given here this is a junk either this is not a valid email id or it is not a valid phone number let's say you try to give valid uh, some email id right so i am trying to give valid uh, some junk email id now let's say look like there is already that kind of uh, email id is already there right look like it has been sent an otp to certain email id okay so here whatever the whatever the otp we are going to get it then we will have to enter that otp and click on continue that is how you are going to reset the password so you are going to the reset the password when you have forgotten your password so i am i am able to help you to understand what are the test cases you should write for amazon registration page then after uh, registration let's say there is also a feature forgot password so what are the different things of test cases you should write for forgot password i am hoping uh, i am very clear in these two aspects in this video if you really like this video please click on like button and if you are not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as in your new publish our new videos thanks for watching this video bye for now take care